Now that we have successfully installed SQL Server 2012, let's take a look at the SQL Server Management Studio and talk about some basics about this interface that we're going to work in. Now notice I am working on Windows Server 2012 right now, which means I have that Windows 8 type original interface. So if I just move the mouse to the lower left corner, I see my start screen and I can click on that and bring it up. But let me show you a great little shortcut here in case you don't know this one. Just to the left of your space bar on your keyboard is that little Windows logo key. Well, if you just press that, you can always toggle onto the start menu or off of it. And so I can just toggle right to it. Now, if I roll the wheel on my mouse, I can move to the right side. And once I successfully installed SQL Server and I told it to install the management tools like we did, I can now find some tiles that I need to open the management studio. So notice this one right here with the little hammer and the wrench and whatever this is. I think that's a disk. Just left click on that and that will open the SQL Server Management Studio. Notice this thing is powered by Visual Studio. Now, if you're one of those mad scientist developer type people who have worked in this environment, it's very friendly and it feels really good. If you've never done any programming on the Windows platform, or especially in the last two or three years, this can be somewhat intimidating. Now, if the first time you open this up, it feels kind of overwhelming, you feel like you just sat down into the pilot seat of a Learjet, all I can tell you is welcome to the club. We've all been there. Don't let it intimidate you. It's very simple to learn this thing. The first thing we're going to do when we open up that management studio is it wants to know what SQL server do you want to connect to? And oh, by the way, who are you anyway? And we have Windows authentication set up and it's showing you that right here. So it is looking at who I logged in as when I logged onto the server and it sees that I logged on as the server to administrator. And so it's going to attempt to connect me to the server two instance of SQL Server 2012. So I'll click connect and everything should go in just fine. And there it is. And the way I can tell in this interface, got a little green play button that's signifying I have a good connection to that database. And notice on the left side, this is the object explorer. Now we will go through this in a little more detail later on in the course. But for now, I just want to show you that if I want to write a query, which is what this course is all about, I'll just come up here to the toolbar and click on New Query, and that will drop me right into the interface that we're going to be working with predominantly in this course, and one that you'll work in most of the time when you're writing queries for SQL Server. Now, the thing I want to show you about this interface that tends to throw people is the way all these things slide back and forth and create screen real estate. Now, that also reminds me, by the way, I'm going to show you how to do this on the standard Windows interface as well, the one that was Windows 7 and prior. Watch for that in a separate video. So the first thing we want to do here is I want to show you, first of all, on the top, this is standard Windows type menu items, just like before, file, edit, view, and by clicking these things drop down and we can do all kinds of things. Let me warn you, these things appear based on, they're dynamic, they appear based on what you're doing out here. So sometimes you may click on project and see different things, or you may click on tools and see different things show up. Don't let that throw you. It's just trying to dynamically give you the tools you need based on where you are at the time. Now right here, I can just start typing a query, right? Select, asterisk, that means all columns from, and I could finish my query out, but for now I won't do that. Notice that I can type right here. Well, if I type a very long query, I'll run out of real estate. So what I can do is over here on the properties area, which we'll talk about later on in the course, notice this little push pin and it says auto hide if I mouse over it. If I click that thing, notice what happened. The properties window disappeared. Where did it go? It went to this little tab right above my mouse. If I mouse over properties, it will show up and I can take a look at whatever I need to in my properties. And then when I mouse back over here and click, it goes away again. Now I have all the space to write my query. Same thing on the left side. I have this little pin. I can click that and notice the object explorer moved to the left. Now I have all this space to write my query. And if I need something from the object explorer, just mouse back over there. There it is. Pops right back up. Same thing on properties. Mouse over here, pops back up. Now, if I ever decide, you know what, that's kind of cool, but it bothers me popping in and out like that, I can just simply mouse over the properties, 
come up here, click on that pin, it will go vertical, and it's telling me that that has now been pinned here. And then the same on Object Explorer, I can pin that back up. Now when I'm working, you're going to notice that there are all kinds of shortcut menu bar items up here. And the best thing I can tell you is, number one, we're going to use a lot of these together, and I'll explain them fully as we use them, as we move through the course. But also, you can get yourself a little preview just by mousing over these, and you can see, for example, the Execute button shows me that F5 is a shortcut. The Debug, there is Cancel Executing Query, there is Parse the Query, and so you can just move over these, and the tooltips will help you understand what's going on here. So we're going to go through all of this together, but again, let me stress, a lot of people are intimidated by SQL, and if you're new to this whole little game of SQL Server, don't let it intimidate you. We're going to go step by step, and you're going to feel really comfortable by the time we're done with this. So start into the course. We'll start to go step by step through this. I'm even going to show you how to make your text look large like mine does here. But that's the first look at the basic Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio interface that you're going to be living in as a SQL database administrator or developer.